Hey guys, look, I'm in my favorite place, <laughs> Dino Cell. But I'm here with Dulcich, this is gonna be awesome. You can see, take a look in here. Oh. Got a cool 340 up on the dyno. What we're gonna do is we're gonna run a comparison test between stock 360 Mopar heads, the early LA stuff, not the Magnum stuff. We're gonna compare those to the new Airflow Research head. So this is gonna be awesome. So let's get going. All right, Stevie, we got our 340 test motor. Tell us a little bit about it so we know what we're getting into before we start making this head test here. Oh, I'm trying to work through the brain fog and uh, <laughs> yeah. see how much I can remember. But anyway, what we have here is that 73 340, which is kind of a past the glory years, and it was actually the last year of the 340. They went to a cast crank, they went to a 360 style head with a 188 intake valve. And uh, my daughter and I built this for her dart project, and you can see that on the Steve Dulcich YouTube channel if you want to check that out. But we filled it up with some really good parts. We put a factory forge crank in there to replace the cast one. It's our ground 20 under, so that's pretty good. It has an Autotech uh, 4032, which is a street alloy piston that are flat top. They're exactly zero deck. And uh, that's a pretty good piston, really. Little, little valve reliefs in the piston so you can put cam in if you yeah, need to? Yeah, it'll handle the huge cam. The valve reliefs are, at, they list them at 9cc. I didn't verify that myself, but that's a big valve relief. Cool. Now, the rods are a scat, they're I-beams, and I've run those a lot of times, they're really light, they're really good. So the bottom end stuff, forged crank, forged pistons, and scat rods, that's all really, really good stuff. The camshaft is a Comp XE268, that's a hydraulic flat tappet, it's a 477 lift on the intake, 480 exhaust, and 224, 230, duration of 50 intake and exhaust, respectively. Um, what in, else can I tell into, you about? Intake manifold, carburetor, what do we got going on there? Okay, now if you guys followed the engine build on this, you'd recognize that these heads aren't the same ones that were on it. Uh, these are factory 360 heads because we wanted to do a comparison test to see how good the new AFR actually is. I've actually never seen a dyno test on it, Richie. I think this might be the first one. <laughs> You're the first. Yeah, so anyway, to baseline it, we've got the 360 or late 340 head. And when we built it, we had a single plane on it. Right now, I've got an Edelbrock Performer RPM air gap and a 750 double pumper holly. Now, really, this whole setup you're looking at right here for a, like a high-performance street engine, you're not going to do better than it. I can tell you that right now. The air gap, one spacer, 750 double pumper. So the inductions, I already know it's optimized. So that's really good. MSD ignition, we've got an MSD... CD unit back as part of the dyno ignition insulation. These are ancient hooker more than three quarter inch super combs with a three inch collector. I think that's pretty much an optimal header. So overall the combination, except for the blue part, <laughs> is pretty optimized. The blue part's actually probably not that bad. We're about to find out when we uh, turn this thing on, fire up the, uh, Dino and the uh, yeah, rev up. Well, it's got the servo on it.
Okay, so good job on that um, jet change. It went from mid to low 11s yeah. to mid 12s, which is pretty much where we wanted to see it. I don't think we're gonna find anything else going for 13.0 or 13.1, or it's not gonna be there. Let's no. find out how it did. All right, power numbers coming up. Okay guys, so we got our baseline runs out of the way. Now it's time to take off the stock 360 heads and make way for the aluminum heads from Airflow Research. Let's tear into it. <laughs> you can just levitate it? it Dude, work. you are the Mopar guy. What happened? Dude. Usually that's all it takes. It's the last bolt. Now. I notice I'm putting the gloves on because there is a lot of pig iron here. <laughs> These small block heads are actually heavier than the big block heads on the floor. Yeah. Chock full of manliness. I realized that a power tool is not, the, trick, the button's not an on off switch. It can slow, go slow or fast. Yeah. There they are. Well, at least one of them. This is the new AFR head. I have never ever seen them tested on any engine. So I don't know if this is the first, but I'm gonna claim it. That's right. Yeah. And I, this is uh, the first on the AFR head. It's really good. 175 cc ish intake runner. This is not a competition head. That's pretty modest, but it's a high performance street head. The AFR head's got ARP hardware and bolts on them. nothing around here. It all just gets impacted on and call it good. Well, that's the way uh, Bogarty taught me back in the day. Super anyway. Slack, super Slack Pontiac trick. Uh, I'm just running them in and um, the head's already been on the motor before. I already know the way this impact is uh, familiar to me. Uh, I'm not even approaching the first step of what's going to be the torque uh, sequence. Sure. So. Yeah, they're just they're just on there. They're just run down. Yeah, you know when when you're doing this professionally, boys and girls, you have to realize that time is money. All right, see, we got the airflow research heads on. Let's go start this baby up. Get it warmed up, make some pulls. Yeah, we're going to get some numbers here before you know it. But are we going to get big numbers? Oh, yeah, big numbers, yeah. baby. Big, big numbers. numbers. All right, first startup, Airflow Research. Yeah, 340 Mopar. Oh, I better turn the fuel on, huh? Yeah, we're going to need fuel. Do we have ignition on? Yeah. Come on. It's alive. a little spark coming off the uh, flywheel. Is that what it is? That's what it was, yeah. Uh -oh. At least that means it's disengaging. Does this have a, um, a manual flywheel on it? Yeah. Cool. All right, we'll get it warmed up, make yeah. some pulls. We'll
All right, man, I came all the way down to do some dyno tests with my buddy Steve Dolce. This was awesome. It is a 340 Mopar. We got to have tacos. We got to make dyno runs. So really, all in all, kind of a good day. Steve, what did you think about the Airflow Research heads, man? Well, it really showed a pretty decent improvement because you gotta keep in mind, this is a street engine. It's not a, like, a big cube, big cam race motor. It's only a 340. It's a 340, yeah. 340 board has a 30 over, and uh, these heads showed a really good gain. It's all at 60 horsepower, which uh, for a one item swap a Rooney, that's a pretty impressive gain, if you ask me. So if a guy's got a cam 340, a cam 360, even a cam 318, He's got the factory heads on it, swaps on it, aluminum heads, which are going to be lighter and better and less detonation and all that stuff. They are, yeah. Pre pretty good deal, man. Pretty big power. I like it. All right, Steve. <laughs> I guess we're done for today. That was a good swap. We got lots of power. I'm going to be heading out, but dude, yeah. if the invitation's open, I will definitely come back anytime. Oh, yeah. I had a lot of fun hanging out, Richie. All right, man. Next time, we'll see you guys.